Have I got that section where I talk about results? Hypothesis one, uh, posited main and interaction effects exist. Um, and we, we did all this stuff with it. And what did we find? We've got all kinds of things that we do with it statistically. We manipulate the data. We get step, we do a MANCOVA, yada, yada, yada. Let's see if we can find it. Specifically, this is page 348, findings indicate that men had significantly higher sexual expectations for the first date than women did. Similarly, men reported higher rape myth acceptance scores than women did. Regarding who asked for the date, results indicate that rape myth acceptance scores were significantly higher when the woman asked for the first date than when the man asked for the first date. Location of the date significantly related to ambivalent sexism benevolent. Uh, post hoc turkey studies, I love that name of that test. Post hoc turkey tests indicated that participants reported significantly lower benevolent scores when the first date occurred, uh, occurred at a restaurant than when the date occurred at the movies or an apartment. So that's what you want to look for. When you're looking through this, you want to look. If you don't know how to do statistics, you should assume that the editors of the journal do and that you're not being given false statistics. Okay? But if you don't know how to do them, you, you're not going to be able to unpack all of that stuff about univariables and Mankovas and uh, ANOVAs and all the rest. So don't worry about it. If you know how to do it, check it. If you don't, it's okay. Look for the results. Look for the results. And the, far, the last place you look for it is in the section called discussion. So what did they find? What did they find about all this stuff? Did you get all the way to discussion? I mean, they told you some of their results. Men are more likely to accept the rape myth, i.e., she actually, she really wanted it. If, if women asked for the first date. Men tend to think that if women ask for the first date, they actually want to initiate sex. Gentlemen, is that true, James? Tell me that ain't true. It's not true. The woman asked for the first date, you don't want to you make no assumptions about her interest in you or, and or sex. Good man. You are a good man. You are a man of the 21st century. Women, is that true? Jessica, is that true? Guys, if, if you ask a guy out, they expect that you're interested in them and are going to have sex with them. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Why is it better if Jessica starts with, with that, yeah, probably, if I ask them out, they're probably going to expect to have se sex with me. Why is that better for Jessica than if she had James's? No, it doesn't make any difference. So she's at least prepared for it that is the truth. Like she can exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's at least prepared. She's at least prepared. Okay. What about where the date went and its, and its expectations? If you go to the guy's apartment, and I'm asking the women now, Katie, I'm asking the women now, so you're going to have to be representative. If you go to the guy's apartment, does he automatically think she's coming to have sex? I think there's a higher chance and everything because you're already at his place. Okay. Stephen, as a man of the world, if she comes to your apartment, <coughs> is she coming because she wants to have sex with you? 
50-50. 50-50, the man says. Okay. I hate to say, I'm going to be honest with you. Women got, got motives, too. You know what I'm saying? So True. They try to make True. this the, just the super dominant one. True. Like, we always after it. No, nope, they after it, too. Okay. Women do have women do have sexual desires and, and do have sexuality. And you at this point in your life, guys, at the age of eight, between eighteen and and twenty five, guys, your your hormones are happening. I mean, both male and female, your bodies are telling you, do it. Do it. So you got to keep your brain in, in, engaged. You got to make decisions. Okay? Now, do you see how this article should be read? Do you see how even as somebody who, even as people who who are not, uh, maybe not statistically adept, you can read social science articles. You did an excellent job with this. We had a great discussion. Thank you very much. What I would like you to do now, and I'm going to turn off the camera. Uh, what I'd like you to do now is um, we're going to work on our on paper.